Hello everyone, a new device from Ableton Drummer, a new Max for Life device for drummers using the Bob Pad from Keith McMillan. So um, this is just for visual feedback. Um, so for example, if you are triggering loops or if you are using audio effects, if you want to toggle audio effects on and off, this could be a quite nice thing to get the visual feedback. So let me show you how this works. Let me connect my Bob pad. Okay, so we have the notes inputs here. So different note inputs. We have the presets already in here as well. If you want to change the values, just go in there, change the values. Or if you want to go to the Bob pad presets, the factory presets, you can select this one here. So and now I just can play and the fields are gonna light up. So I could uh, add a delay so the lights will stay on a bit longer and as you can see my bob pad is sending out weird notes at the moment so um, i need to send it back and get it fixed but just to show you okay so you you can add a delay here nice one okay so you have floating windows here as well so if you want to um, stay somewhere else in your live set, you will get the visual feedback here as well. You have uh, three different sizes, middle one, and you have as well a really big one. So if you want to put this one on a second screen, for example, that's probably the right size to do so. Okay, so you have another function for the MIDI toggling, as I mentioned earlier. So um, if you just um, toggle the MIDI function on, you can now um, use this button here. You have to MIDI map this. So if you go into the MIDI menu, you select this button and maybe select the ascent here as well. So what's happening now is every time I'm hitting the bob pad, it's toggling on and off. And so this way you will see and will get quite a nice visual feedback on what kind of effects you have turned on and off. Okay, so uh, that's it. Please check out the other device I made for the Bob Head and Ableton Live as well. It lets you change the presets, which are the four presets which are stored on your um, Bob Head, um, and you can change them and automate those changes via Ableton Live. Um, so that's quite handy if you want to use different presets in one performance for example um, of course those devices are for free donations are welcomed of course and uh, just follow the link in the video description and please share and uh, this video and tell people about this device who could yeah tell it to people who <laughs> who could make use of this okay thanks bye